Welcome everyone, my name is Ashley, welcome to my channel. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do apologise, I haven't done many videos uh, of recently. I've been working quite a lot with my normal job and I recently uh, oh, got my girlfriend. Uh, I'm hopefully, I'm trying to get her onto the channel to get a bit more, a little bit more fun. So hopefully in the uh, future to come, with me and my girlfriend talk about the weight loss again she hasn't obviously gone through the what i've gone through she but she is obviously she can look at the different angles of weight loss and obviously she can put her own opinion so it's, it's always nice to have that so before you begin you probably ha if you haven't seen any of my videos i'm ashley i'm 30 years old i lost 130 pounds i got myself onto men's health magazine i'll show you where i began and where i saw i am now so a couple of uh, pictures going across this is me. So, what we're going to do is going to give you a couple of tips what you should be doing to implement it into your diet to lose the weight. Okay, I'm again, I'm not an expert in this. I, this is just my own experience on losing mass amount of weight on my own. Okay, so the first one I believe, and this is again, this is just me believing what you should be doing, is to be consistent on your diet. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean consistent? You know, a lot of people out there. Um, Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, they're fine. The, the diet's on point. Uh, they have nothing to complain about. They're on a diet, but on a Friday or Saturday, they go out drinking. They go out and have a meal out, and they eat an extra 5,000 calories. Be consistent. If you're on a diet, you're on a diet consistently. You're not on a diet Monday to Thursday. You're on a diet to Monday to Monday. So be consistent what you're doing, though. If you're going to eat a certain way, eat it all the time. Yeah. If you're at an official birthday, damn, go, go out. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, but don't act like it's your birthday every damn week. Okay, simple. So be consistent. If you're on a diet, you're on a diet. But birthdays and Christmases, jump off your diet. Have some fun, but you don't have to do it every week. Or if you are going to do something like that every month, once a month, eliminate yourself from these bad impulses. Okay, number two, and that will be low cardio. Low cardio. I don't do cardio myself, but low impact cardio, so walking. If you're overweight and walking or running is like almost impossible, a bit of a walking is so easy to do. So just walk a couple miles a day. If you implement that every day, you're going to see the results quite a lot. And it's not like if you're sitting down and you're in calorie deficit, your body's going to get used to what you're eating. But if you are adding some exercise into it, it's going to be much better results. It's going to give you better life. Uh, you know, you can feel how better it is. After the first time, it's like you, you'll be walking, but oh my God, why am I doing this? Why? But after a while, you get used to it and you don't really notice. I used to walk, you know, I had crutches and everything like that when I started walking. I hated it. I hated walking. And after that, like, I used to swear. I used to, oh, I don't like this. And after only a, a year now, I can walk. I, I blank out. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just walking. That's how easy it becomes after a time passes on. You don't actually realize you're doing anything natural, unnatural. Walking is basically as natural as eating to me. Okay? So simple, just do that. Number two, count your calories, count everything. Basically, it's a counting game. So if you can calculate what you're eating, calculate every gram. Don't, don't say, oh, it looks like this, it's, it has to be gram. Because a lot of people don't realize that um, miscalculating your calories is so easy. I can still do it because the labels are so hard. So if you really want to lose weight, calculate your calories, count them really well. And understand that you're probably so wrong. You know, you can count them on the diet. You can be so specific, but you still may be wrong. So give yourself a little leeway. So you're counting your calories like, all right, it's a thousand calories I've eaten so far. Round up a little bit. I'm going to say it's 1,000 and 100. 1,100. Round it up. Don't round it down. Because if you round it down, you're probably overeating. But if you round it up, it's a little bit easier to maintain that low. So as long as you stick under that, you're probably going to be less than you're eating. But you're understanding. Also, when you talk about your calories, implement low calorie intake. And I'm, what I mean is there's foods out there that are really high calories. Like Mars bars is 300 calories. But there's some foods out there really low. So you can get like, you know, low calorie alternative foods, add them into your diet. That will make you be, that will give you the chance for eating more food 
in a calorie deficit. So understand that there are options that you can do. You don't have to remove all your fun foods like cakes, bacon, and everything like that. You can still eat a cake on a low calorie diet. It just has to be a low calorie alternative to the normal cake. So understand that. You don't have to remove the majority of your foods. Number uh, four, I believe, and that will be implementing the gym. When you can go to the gym, I recommend going to the gym. Uh, I don't do cardio. I hate cardio, and it is a bore to me. I hate it. Well, passion. But I like weights, and that's what I do. I don't care. But my cardio is walking to the gym. I do the weights at the gym. You know, the more muscle you have, the more uh, calories that your body needs to sustain yourself. So... The bigger you are, in muscular sense, the more calories that your body needs, the more calories you can eat. See? Well, uh, that sounds pretty damn awesome to me. I would love to eat more calories. So I work out my muscles, that is it, every day. And that is consistent as well. I make my gym sessions as consistent as my diet. So, yeah, make sure you do that. Okay, number five. Number five. I don't know what number five is. Realistically, there, there could be a lot of things for number five. And I, I can plop on to think everything. But I'm going to say number five for me is to understand what your issues can be. Okay, so if I give you an example, my issues were overeating, eating bad stuff, and just not understanding what I'm eating. That was my issue. But what came on, and I was like dating, my issue became the person I was dating. So, if you look at the studies, and there are studies out there, people who are in relationships are higher chance of gaining weight because you are going out and you are enjoying yourself. You're, you're taking that, you're going out for meals and you're having fun, and now uh, that is basically where you can go wrong. So, understanding that, so me and my girlfriend, um, she understands that what I'm like, and I go through the fact that we do go out, have meals, but she understands that the rest of the week, I'm on the calorie deficit. I am training even harder. I'm pushing myself even faster to make sure that that one day hasn't ruined my week. I make sure that one day has been implemented. And I, and I don't go crazy in that one day. I, it's not like, you know, we go out for a meal and I eat all like four pizzas, tons of lager. I still eat the, drink the Diet Cokes. I still have the diet stuff into my diet. I try to implement as much uh, of my diet life into my normal life as much as I can. If you can do that and you can get your other half on board where they're not eating, because it makes it harder for you. If you're there eating the damn salad and they are there eating the damn chicken curry, something like that, something really good, and you're like, oh, I love that. Let me have a bite. Let me have a bite. Let me have a bite. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. <laughs> That's what it's like. You don't want that. You don't want someone eating the crust. So if they can understand that you're on a calorie deficit and understand that, and they generally, if they can help you go with you, and uh, they just want to be there with you, then damn yeah. But if you can't, understand that you don't have to go crazy. Like you can have a, a small a dish. You can have a little side salad. You don't need to have a dessert. Or if you are going to have a dessert, share a damn dessert. Have a low-calorie drink don't drink your calories understand these things can implement in your diet and they can ruin your diet so if you can just add diet into your going out meals it will help you in the later life so guys that is my tip so obviously start your weight loss journey so push that forward a little bit i do apologize it was a small video uh, i've been trying to well actually i've just been going to work and working out and working and having my relationship with my girlfriend it's very hard for me at the moment to make a video, so I'm going to try to do it as much as I can, but I will try and get her onto the video. So please, if you want to see what she looks like, please like and subscribe to the videos, and please just put a comment down below if you'd like to see her. Okay, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.